I'm a mom of four kids and I run my own business and just have a really full life. I had multiple pregnancies where I felt very, very lethargic and just really tired, not sure what was going on. I remember thinking, I can't even clean my kitchen after dinner and that was really unlike me. I'm very high energy and it's hard for me to even work out during my pregnancies. And so I knew something was up. So when I went to my naturopathic physician and he tested my blood, my ferritin came back at a five, which is really crazy low and it explained why I was feeling you know, lethargic and dizzy and tired. And so after taking blood vitality for five weeks, it came back at 54, which is amazing. I had no side effects with blood vitality at all, which is one of the big things when it comes to iron. I didn't have constipation. I didn't have any of the maybe normal side effects you might get from taking an iron supplement. I just, you know, the only side effect was more energy and, you know, I could do what I needed to do and take care of my kids and do all the normal things. So being able just to go about my day without feeling tired, I would kind of feel dizzy throughout um, in a couple of my pregnancies and that completely went away once I started taking blood vitality and had my energy back. About six years ago, I was really anemic. My doctor prescribed to me iron glycinate. He told me basically that was the best on the market at the time and that hopefully we would see improvements. And I took it consistently for a few years. My ferritin levels went from a seven to a 13. And then on top of that, I was getting a lot of side effects from it. I was having constipation. I was so tired, um, I had no energy, just felt like I needed to sleep all the time. And it was really discouraging. Um, we never really saw the results we were wanting. And then in 2018, I got pregnant and then I started taking blood vitality and my numbers went from a seven to a 36, all while being pregnant. I noticed a huge improvement in my energy, was no longer constipated, and being pregnant was the best I felt, the most energy I felt, and I think a lot of that had to do with the blood vitality. When I got pregnant the first time, I was really hopeful to have a home birth, but since my iron levels were low at the time, I wasn't gonna be a good candidate for that. While taking blood vitality, I was able to get my iron high enough and then I was able to um, be a candidate for a home birth. And this is my third pregnancy and we're able to do another home birth. I'm 40 years old, I have six children. I have a long history of iron deficiency. I was just dragging, I was so tired. And so I actually was put on an iron prescription, um, ferrous sulfate, and it was horrible. I could hardly take it. I'd have to take it with huge meals. I had dark stool, um, just nausea, just bloating, just, it just was horrible. And um, constipation, and one time I actually took it on an empty stomach. I almost passed out. I had severe abdominal pain, a vasovagal reaction where it was like, started to get black. I had to leave church and sit down. It was embarrassing. I started taking iron um, glycinate, which um, still had some side effects, but not as bad. And um, slowly, 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 my iron um, levels went up. So fast forward, I'm pregnant with twins. In my second trimester, my ferritin was 10. I really needed it to get up. I wanted a home birth. And uh, so I started taking iron glycinate again. I had a lot of the same problems and I took did that for three, three months and my ferritin actually went down to nine. Um, and so I was not really <laughs> getting anywhere and I'm in my, my third trimester now and I really need to get my levels up and that's when I was introduced to blood vitality. So I took two blood vitality for 31 days and my ferritin went from a nine to a 23, um, which is just remarkable. I had no black stools, I had no nausea, no stomach upset. It was just, it was great. I was able to have the home birth that I wanted and after I gave birth, I checked my levels again and um, I was at a 42 for ferritin and I think that's like a lifetime high for me. I'm just so thankful and grateful to have found this product. 
I have been an athlete my whole life. Throughout my 20s, I did some competitive CrossFit and then into some competitive running. When I started to tra transition more into running, I really started to feel my energy levels just like I hit a wall. I got some blood work done and um, my iron was really low. Dr. Matt recommended I start taking blood vitality and within like a short amount of time, I mean like a week or so, I just started to feel my energy levels go like way back up and I was able to continue like training really hard and um, I just felt great. And then I got married and got pregnant and felt fine for the first kind of part of my pregnancy. Then same thing, I just felt like I hit a wall and um, got my iron levels checked again and they were low. So I started taking blood vitality again and I just immediately again, felt like this huge, like just so much better night and day difference. And I'm just so thankful um, for blood vitality and just getting me on the right path. And yeah, I just highly recommend blood vitality for sure. After I had my firstborn, I had extreme blood loss and had to have uh, blood transfusions. I went on just like the standard iron supplement that they give you at the hospital. I had had a lot of food allergies and digestive issues and just had to be really careful about what I was eating. I had tried several other uh, iron supplements and um, it just seemed like there was always this uh, issue with my digestion and it messing up my stool and um, I would always get like headaches or just these weird side effects that would come with it. I'd get pretty discouraged when I was told I needed to take iron because I felt like it was just gonna mess everything up again. So I had all the side effects that came with it, lots of bloating, hard stool, and I think there was always this part of me that wondered if it was actually even absorbing at all. Yeah, and it felt like my energy was just always kind of like up and down. And then I got pregnant with my second, and it was just kind of that way through the whole pregnancy. So it was not until my third pregnancy that I started taking blood vitality, and my iron levels were, I think they were in the teens, somewhere around like 11 or 13 in my first trimester. And then by my next blood draw, my ferritin levels were like 40 something. And I was feeling so much more energetic. I felt like I could get out of bed in the morning and I had energy to take care of my kids. But yeah, I didn't have, I didn't have any negative side effects from the, the blood vitality, no digestive issues. And I think it also gave me a lot of confidence about uh, getting pregnant again. That just was really exciting to me to feel like maybe I can have more kids, maybe I can have uh, the capacity to just like take care of them and love them. After I had my third born and my postpartum check, at six weeks postpartum, my um, ferritin levels were like 160 and I've been able to maintain just really, really healthy uh, iron levels and my energy's been awesome. Yeah, so I'm feeling good.